sometimes I think too much and I think like, oh, how should I introduce a video? Or how should I say this? How should I say that? And I come to the conclusion that it doesn't really matter. Like if you're talking about a certain topic, like, okay, the topic of this video is whatever. And it's so easy sometimes to compare yourself to other people, but you don't need... Like, you can go through your whole life comparing yourself to your heroes or celebrities or other people. Don't bother with any that stuff. Just be you, you know? You can get influenced by other people and things, but copying... I guess we all copy to a degree. People ride bikes, so I copy them, but... Anyway. Just be yourself, man. Just be yourself. Like, I get so hung up sometimes about when I start to make a video, like, Oh, so-and-so said this and perhaps I should say that as well no and they bother anyway I just wanted to share today that I've been out riding the bike around without a care in the world it's been really relaxing so I just the sort of ride I've been doing and like as you can hear like it's like yeah there's wind obviously there is a slight tail to headwind there's like there is wind around but there's when you stop still it's like you can't notice anything the sky's absolutely amazing the temps are absolutely, I don't know exactly what the temps are, but if you're cycling kind of slow, like I've been doing about like 18, 20, 20 kilometers an hour or something, a little bit faster in, in certain places, but riding at a certain speed where you're not really getting too hot and you're not sweating so much and your body temperature is like just, just perfect, like you know. Um, obviously the faster you ride, obviously you get that wind chill, you sweat more, you, get, you also get hotter, and then when you slow down you're going to get cold. Um, which is something um, you don't want to do when you're on like an all night ride as well. Something to bear in mind. But yeah, perfect day man today. Um, been in the lanes, been out on like the Somerset levels pretty much. Pretty much most of the afternoon. Um, it's like little traffic around man. There's hardly any traffic at all. It's been brilliant. Went down a few lanes that... There was one lane I went down actually that um, I probably hit it about maybe like three or four years ago or something, but it's a really nice lane actually. Really nice lane with some really nice like, really nice views and these little woodlands and stuff. Um, the sort of lane that when it gets wet, there's like loads of road shears everywhere, but um, there's plenty of lanes like that around here. Sometimes I stick to the same route, you know, it doesn't matter. You're out on the bike and you're riding, but um, I've done my fair share of exploring this year. Uh, more more to do again next year over, over summer, the longer longer days. It's been pretty good man. Check it out look. Love it. Not a bad area to ride in at all. Not a bad area. That place in the background. Sorry. That place there. Yeah it looks like a big nipple. That's called Crook's Peak. Some pretty good mountain biking around that area actually. Around the Mendips. Um, not a bad area at all to ride in. But look check it out. No traffic. I'm gonna head out now. This road here I can't remember what the lane, well, lane rather, I can't remember what it's called, but it comes off of, comes off of um, a Mark Causeway, and it brings me back out onto the A38 and the main road back home, but we shall see, you can never be too sure, so yeah, I just want to share that, got out today, nearly didn't get out as well, nearly didn't get out man. So see you later, 600,000 views. And as I said before, I want to give something away, so I might do a, a dedicated video for that soon. And uh, we'll see what we can do. See ya.
Right, little recipe bonus uh, video on the end of here. Nothing as different really, it's, it's what I mean, it's nothing different. There's uh, some rice, boiled for about eight minutes, drained off, and I'm just letting it kind of uh, do its thing so it gets nice and fluffy. Pretty much done there. Don't want to overcook rice, man. You can eat it like that, but it tastes like shit, to be honest. Then, frozen veggies, uh, chickpeas from the tin. I have got some Cajun herb uh, mix going on there, and I did heat it up a bit with some uh, jalapeno like red hot sauce and to get like a gravy thing going on we've got two not not what are they I can't remember the name of them they're like a vegetable bullion anyway and the first lot of chickpeas I put in I kind of fried off a bit in some water did add a little bit of oil uh, but I haven't added any anything else there's no uh, like uh, you know salt or anything like that okay so there we go that's what he's having for dinner uh, by the way if you do like this Hit the like button, doesn't cost anything, and it's so easy to do, and it lets me see that you've actually stopped by. And, yeah, be much appreciated. Cheers.